Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nara and here we're discussing astrology, spirituality, and psychology. And this video is about the transit that we're currently having, which is Jupiter in Taurus, which actually started this May on the 16th and it will last until the May of 2024. So we're going to be with this energy for the next year. And yeah, let's talk about it. So first of all, a disclaimer, if you guys do not know your personal chart placements, birth chart placements, such as your rising sign, your moon sign, your, um, you know, su well, sun sign, we all know, the house system, right? Then you might want to go and check out astro.com. But for this, you do need to know your time of birth so that you can get the most accurate birth chart placement, right? And the house system and the cusps. So you might want to go and check out astro.com, which I'm going to link down below. And under free horoscopes, you'll be able to find ascending drawing and you'll just, you know, enter your details and you'll, you'll be able to run your chart. Also, you can save it if you um, open an account. If you register on astro.com, you can even save your chart and access it later. So, but if you do know your chart, your personal char chart placements, then welcome to this video because it's going to resonate more for you. What is Jupiter? Jupiter is an outer planet. So Jupiter is a slow moving planet along with Saturn, um, Neptune, Pluto, um, Uranus, and stuff like that, right? And then we have Mercury, Venus, Mars, we have Moon, we have Sun. These are the fastest moving planets so how do they work so we have like the slowest the slow moving planets pretty much set the stage for the energy that is going to take place and be in the air during a transit okay you might feel the energy there is a collective energy jupiter and taurus right now so a lot of folks are focusing on their finances building their financial prosperity because taurus is an earth sign right it belongs to the second house second house is our skill set is our material material possessions it's our culture it's our um, belief system okay based on the culture where we live uh, which allows us to feel comfortable, okay? Because culture, Taurus is very, very culturistic, okay? Culture prone. Um, so that's Taurus, right? And Taurus also loves to be stable financially and emotionally. Taurus loves comfort zone, okay? It's a fixed sign along with Leo, Aquarius, and um, Scorpio. So fixed signs are pretty much... They love comfort zone, okay? It's not easy for them to step out of comfort zone. It's not easy for them to stop doing what they've been doing for years, okay? However, Jupiter rules Sagittarius and belongs to the ninth house, right? So ninth house relates to gurus and Jupiter represents guru. Jupiter is generosity, financial prosperity, it's being inspired, okay, is the ability to have inspiring ideas and then if you act on them you're gonna literally it's gonna lead you to financial prosperity when it's in taurus right especially for earth signs and fixed signs so if you have earth sign placement like major placements such as sun moon or rising in earth signs especially taurus and fixed sign i would say to a degree because fixed signs are going to find it harder to work with a Jupiterian energy because they're fixed, right? Whereas Jupiter likes to move on. But when it comes to the fixed signs, they like to fixate on things, right? To get stuck. Whereas Jupiter likes to get unstuck. So what I would say, you guys, it's going to be harder for fixed signs to handle this energy. Because why? It's going to require you to step out of your comfort zone, okay? And act from a different version of yourself. If you're really driven by your goals, because trust me, the energy right now is going to inspire you to um, become financially um, prosperous, um, abundant, um, to have that comfort zone, to have that stability, financial stability, right? Because Taurus doesn't feel secure when there's no financial stability. So you might be experiencing some financial problems, which actually serve as a trigger for you to turn your life around and start acting differently, not from your comfort zone. Because if you've been acting from your comfort zone and having financial hardships, 
then that means that whatever you've been do doing hasn't been really working for you. So it's literally calling you and inspiring you to step outside of your comfort zone and stop relying on your habitual behaviors, okay? Because Taurus love to self-indulge, right? But Jupiter in Taurus requires you to not get stuck on things, not to, because overindulgence is not a big deal. Like I'm a Taurus moon, like I have a stellium in Taurus in the eighth house. Like I know what self-indulgence is and I know how it's hard to stop indulging in yourself and, you know, start acting differently and change your habitual patterns of behavior, thoughts. It's not easy. I understand. However, the inspiration, especially for people who have you know, it in the first house or in the money houses, Jupiter, right? Which I'm gonna get into by when we we're, when we'll start talking about the rising signs, right? And how it's going to impact each and every rising sign differently. If it's if Jupiter is placed in the money house, then guys, your in your goal, right? Your motivation to become financially prosperous is gonna be um, stronger, I would say, than your desire to stay in a comfort zone. Okay, let me put it this way. It's, it brings changes on a large scheme of things, okay? It's not a small change, which is, you know, felt by moon transit, so, but it also can manifest uh, as people, influential people, generous people, people who can offer you opportunities who will pretty much, you know, um, get you closer to your goal of being financially prosperous, stable, and whatever, right? So you might be, it might be playing out in a form of, you might be meeting people, you might be expanding your network that later on through those connections, you are easily able to uh, achieve your goals and advance your career. Okay. So that's that, especially if you have Jupiter in the money houses. Okay. But besides that, you may also find a, a partner, romantic partner uh, uh whenever wherever your jupiter is placed and the, the reason i'm saying this is because jupiter is very generous right and uh it represents the people who are influential and who have like this material goods and whatever right so you will be really drawn to people either um and your network and only connect with people who are influential so you might be nitpicking when it comes to the people you want to connect I'm not saying that you don't want to connect with like um you know other people like it's not that you're like too arrogant and money driven no but you realize that um especially during jupiter and taurus that um connecting with people who don't have a um, mindset of a businessman or a mindset of a career driven person is just not going to do any good for you so you might be also drawn to cutting people off of your life from your life who are not benefiting your um, mental consciousness, your state uh, that actually is very important, right? So the state of mind, the state of emotions is very important because we know the manifestations and how law of attraction works. And if you connect with the wrong people who are surrounded by limiting beliefs and live life without any goals, like you are not going to be like you're not, you won't, wouldn't want to connect with people like this because they're going to halt your progress. So you might be very selective um, in the, in the way like you choose your friends, your, the people you connect with because, and it will be basically centered around that goal of having financial abundance and stability. Okay. For Aries rising. So Aries rising is likely to have Jupiter in the second house uh, of their chart. So second house is a Taurus house, right? And if you have, if you're an Aries rising, that means your zodiac sign, zodiac house system is placed in the right order. Unlike me, uh, I'm a Libra rising, so it's upside down. So basically, your second house belongs to Taurus, where it naturally belongs, right? Whereas my second house is Scorp uh, belongs to Scorpio, for instance. So Aries rising, you guys will be focusing on expanding your material possessions your skill set your psychological foundations you might be also inclined towards inspired towards um gaining more credibility gaining more certifications you know so that you can um get paid higher or you can increase your prices if you are a freelance 
worker i don't know because i'm a freelance worker right so the more skills you have the more you're able to charge so the, for aries rising that's the primary energy for this year i would say when it comes to jupiter and taurus you guys will be focusing on expanding your financial resources your skill set your psychological resources your uh, culture so you may also actually travel to for work you know or to gain um like internship or something that will contribute to you to your financial prosperity in the long run so for aries rising for you guys jupiter will be pretty much inspiring you to take action when it comes to your skill set however the only danger for aries rising i would say since you have in the second house like taurus house right jupiter in the taurus house in the second house I would say be careful not to overspend uh, too much money because second house is material possessions, right? And having Jupiter, which is all about generosity and expansion, you might be inclined towards like buying um, material goods that are very, very pricey. So try not to overspend if you don't have enough, you know, um, don't, don't say to yourself like, oh, I'm getting a paycheck next week. Let me just get it. No. Okay, like if you are tight on money, like try not to spend because Jupiter, I said, right, is expanding. It's all about expansion. It's all about being generous. Or you might be getting luxurious gifts for other people or spending money on presents or gifts um, for others. So please be careful of not to uh, overspending and going broke. <laughs> And for Taurus rising, so Taurus rising, you guys are going to have Jupiter in the first house of your chart, most likely, or in the 12th house, but at some point within this year, right, it's going to go into your first house, but it's most likely to be in your first house. So, okay, so what is first house? First house is our actually rising sign, right? It's our, um, it's how we think, how we view the world, is how we present ourselves more primarily, right? Um, it's all, you know, the way we approach others, the way we speak, the way we present ourselves, the attitude we have towards life and towards other people, you know? So right now you might be very inspired to see everything in a positive way and not be really bothered by the things that never matter to you. You are at this time during Jupiter in Taurus being in your first house, you will be inclined towards not noticing the negative and small petty things, but only focusing on the larger things, on the big things that are going to impact your life on a long run, right? And you just have such an inspiring energy at this time. And whenever you enter the room, um, people can pick, pick up on it. And uh, people feel very, very comfortable with you at this time because you're so inspired and you're not petty as usual because we know Taurus can be petty okay Taurus can be very petty actually and but at this time you guys are very like soft more feminine uh, it's easier to see a bigger picture for y'all it's easier to see the best in other people right so that's energy this energy is very supportive so what it, what can happen with this energy so the way you present yourself is going to set the stage for your financial abundance okay because first house connects you to the seventh house right away so the seventh house is pretty much the people you are speaking to talking to communicating with and the energies that they bring to the table so you have scorpio in the seventh house right so you'll be attracting lots of scorpios and people of power because we know scorpio is ruled by pluto and pluto is all about control it's it's finances too it's um psychology it's a cold science but if we are to speak from the mundane, practical level, then um, Pluto represents people with, who are in power, okay? Like politicians, Wall Street people and stuff like that. So you'll be exposed to people who are of influence, okay? Who can advance your career. And the reason why it will be happening is because the way you present yourself, like, like the way you come off to people is just at peak, high okay and very positive right now so it will be very hard for folks to not notice you like you'll be very noticeable you're so positive so light and you'll might get opportunities like that or get married too 
or find a partner if you're single. Because remember, seventh house is partnerships and marriage. You might also get so like into your feminine energy, especially if you're a female, and which will literally open a portal for you to meet your specific person, right? Because Jupiter energy is very magnetic. Trust me, it's, it's a soft feminine energy. And that energy is going to like open up, you know, doors. Like that energy is going to help you to gain your goal, you know, achieve your goal through other people, okay? Who are more influential than you or have more connections than you and stuff like that. Or you might be the one who are helping others too. So that might be playing out this way too because you have Jupiter in your first house. Another thing that you might be, um, you know, drawn to doing at this at this time um, is to um, change your appearance in some way. Maybe change your hair color. Maybe change your hairstyle. Uh, change clothes you wear every day, right? So you might be changing your image in some way, which is going to be very uh, useful and supportive for you, uh, for your goals. And for Gemini rising. So Gemini risings are likely to have Jupiter in the 12th house of their chart which is the last house it's a piscean house the least understood and it mostly plays out on the inner level on an internal level and sometimes it even gets unnoticed if you're not very aware like emotionally if you're not used to like checking in with yourself emotionally then i mean that feeling you it might get a notice you might not even notice that it's happening okay but so what does it mean, right? 12th house. 12th house is subconscious mind. It's spirituality. It's isolation. It's um, I isolating from society, okay? It's also like on a practical level. It's mental institutions, prisons, like isolation institutions, right? Jail systems and stuff like that. Um, so that's the third house. Sorry, that's the 12th house. And having Jupiter in the 12th, like... You guys, Gemini Risings, you will be inspired to spend more time by yourself, being alone, to ponder, mull over things, you know, and actually enjoying this time, you know, being alone. Even though for Geminis, it's unlikely to like being alone, but for Gemini Risings, you guys might be, you know, I'm not saying that this energy is going to be like this 24 hours for the next year. No, it's just like at times you'll be like inclined to withdraw from society, from communications and just like go inward and, you know, process, um, meditate, maybe journal. So you might be inclined towards exploring your spirituality and being by yourself, uh, being with yourself, with your emotions, with your thoughts and understanding yourself on a deeper level and also reaching for unconditional love, self-love for yourself and the collective. So this energy is great. And if you're someone who's been struggling psychologically, mental health issues, this is a perfect time for Gemini Risings to focus on that, to go to a psychologist, astrologer, uh if you know that's if that's what you want to do um and solve those kinds of issues because this energy is so supportive to do shadow work therapy work that you might get very very influenced by that shadow work which is going to help you out in the long run right it's going to have great impact on your future for cancer rising so cancer risings are likely to have their taurus their jupiter and taurus in the 11th house of their chart which is an aquarian house it's all about the collective consciousness it's the society the trends the social trends that we have um the collective energy right um for instance like what are people focus on right it's groups it's organizations political parties all of those things nonprofit organizations and stuff like that cancer risings you guys might be inclined towards contributing uh to organizations of social organizations maybe nonprofit maybe contributing some money into the nonprofit organization that you support a cause of and you would like to expand or help them out in some way because cancer is very nurturing and caring energy right so you guys might be like feeling very nurturing and caring energy towards like certain groups of people in society and being inclined towards uh, contributing your finances or even energy or even time you know going there maybe maybe doing some you know um investing some money or investing 
some things like like the stuff around the house that you have like investing into the um i don't know the homeless camp or something like this is this kind of energy is going to be with you be caring for the people who are least fortunate in society okay and contributing money or you know joining a group or uh, becoming a part of it trying to monitor trying to um you know raise awareness of people so this is a blessing for you if you do that if you contribute if you give to the society jupiter will give you back tenfold okay and for leo rising so leo risings are likely to have their jupiter in taurus in the 10th house of their chart 10th house is a capricorn house right it's an earth house earth sign house and um 10th house is the highest point of, in our career, in our life, okay? It's it's something that we become famous for, for what we've done, for the, you know, contribution we've made into like a certain cause. So you might be finding your own niche at this time if you don't have one and monetizing on that, okay? And actually becoming known for what you do. So this is a great energy. If you wanted to start social media, if you wanted to, especially leo risings you guys can you're dramatic i mean i'm a leo son i know and you guys are dramatic you love the public you love to uh, perform right that's all leo's energy creativity performance and if you combine the two and take it into your 10th house then trust me jupiter will give you a lot of blessings in the career section of your life so if you don't have a niche you might be exploring at this time or if you don't want to work for yourself and you already have a job and you work for someone right you might be experiencing a uh, raise or promotion uh, being more recognized for what you do right um and also like if you've been having like petty uh relationships at work with other co-workers this will stop with jupiter and taurus like that will not be the case and you will be the star really so it might be very very attractive at this time to your team you know and they will be like oh my gosh look at the work they do i want to give them more money you know so this is very possible or you might be also becoming known for <laughs> becoming known for spending too much money and your image okay so be aware of that because leos are they they all about their self image okay and they will and taurus too taurus loves to spend lots of money so that they have comfort right so you might be inclined to spending lots of money uh gaining more material possessions that are more like pricey right um that not everybody can afford and therefore get higher in public's eye right so that's very possible but this is a great, great time for Leo Risings to monetize all their skills, to literally come up with a plan if you've been wanting to start uh, your business or whatever, and go ahead and and freaking focus on that, okay? Focus, like, like go all in into your creativity and Jupiter will literally bless you if you do that. But do not doubt yourself, okay? Go Rising. So I'm actually filming this the next day because as I'm editing, I'm just realizing that I completely skipped Virgo and I went straight into Libra. And yeah, so I'm making this up for Virgos. So Virgo risings are likely to have their Jupiter in Taurus in the ninth house of their chart, which is actually belongs to Jupiter. It belongs to Sagittarius energy. Ninth house is all about travels, it's all about education, it's gurus, it's um, traveling, right? It's um, higher education. Maybe at this time you would want to get higher education. If you are just, you know, graduating from high school, you might be thinking uh, about going into higher education like starting bachelors or if you already completed bachelors you might be going into um master's program at this time being in the present moment 
uh, knowing how to forgive people, maybe like healing energy, um, wanting to like heal your past traumas, you know, and this will require you to go into spirituality, develop spiritual side of yourself, you know, which will allow you to deal with those kinds of issues better in the long run, okay? But you might be also gaining, achieving this goal, you know, of spiritual awareness and mindfulness through your routine, through changing your routine. Maybe implementing some different, like different routines for yourself. If the routines that you've been following up to this point, like if they haven't been working to your advantage, you might be like very inspired at this time to change your routine. Start like waking up at different time. You're, you'll start doing different things in the morning, you know, like meditating, maybe adding yoga, maybe adding, um, you know, journal practices, like journaling and stuff like that. So, and also like paying attention to your health is very important for Virgo risings and also actually traveling. You might be traveling to a foreign country, meeting your significant other, your soulmate uh, abroad or someone from abroad might be coming to your country or your house, um, sorry, your town or your city or your state and you might be meeting them who will be like a foreign a nature you know and um this will be like have has a lot of potential to be and for libra rising so libra rising libras will have uh their jupiter in taurus in the eighth house of their chart which is a scorpionic house so the eighth house is all about um debt credit um investments other people's money uh, bank right like other people's money it's not your money it's also related to um, investments that you have let's say like cryptocurrency like you invested but you do not have a hold like you can't access money immediately right because you need to keep for a certain amount or whatever so that's kind of um, money when it comes to the eighth house it's not the ha the money that are easily accessible to you which is the second house right which is the opposite it's other people's money more so and having it's also a debt okay it's also a cold science it's a cold knowledge it's psychology it's dark energies in terms of like dark emotions suppressed emotions it's all about um death and rebirth transformation right Jupiter is like fulfillment on all levels, you know? So, yeah. So, Libra will be most likely focusing on repairing their debt, repairing their credit score, working on their credit score, uh, dealing with finances, like with credits, with, with investments, trying to figure out where to invest. You know, you might be like um, inspired to learn about crypto, about stocks, bonds, or just like material, like financial education, you might be inclined towards becoming more financially educated because um, eighth house is also crises, okay? Because it's the scorpionic house. And when it comes to crises, right? Um, having Taurus in the eighth house means that it's easy for you to go through a crisis, okay? Why? Because you are Taurus, right? Taurus are very, very stable. Unlike, let's say, Cancer. Cancer in the eighth can handle crisis as well as Taurus in the eighth, okay? So when it comes to crisis, and it's usually a financial nature, I would say, but it can be any kind of crisis. I would say that recently Libra Rising's experienced financial crisis in some way, which inspired them to gain more financial independence and stability and you know but we don't get that immediately we need to also learn new things right learn new topics uh get an education like if our finances didn't work up to this point i mentioned already that means that we're doing something wrong right so if we're doing something wrong then we might want to change what we know right so that it works so you might be inclined towards like watching YouTube uh, about like financial education, like where to invest, um, loans, and maybe you're paying off debt. Libra Rising reading resonates with me. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are dealing with similar things. But just be aware that for the time being of Taurus, sorry, Jupiter being in Taurus, you guys, like for the, during Jupiter is in Taurus, 
you guys will be literally focusing on material resources and paying off debt like that's the theme for this year and next year and for scorpio rising so scorpio rising are gonna have their jupiter in taurus uh in the seventh house of their chart right just the opposite of taurus rising so seventh house is all about partnerships connections it's also marriage it's a serious form of relationship um it's also business partners, but I would say it's primarily a relationship and other people. You can also represent other people, but mostly like relationship, like your partner, um, your husband, your wife, your fiance, right? And stuff like that. Or it might be also other people in your life. So Scorpio rising are going to um, experience big shifts and changes in their relationships, okay? You might be, if you're single, you will meet somebody who has either Taurus placements somewhere, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Jupiter or Sagittarius placements, okay? Somewhere very, very prominently that are affecting them. And you might be getting into a new relationship that will be long-term, okay? There's a, more, there's a very high likelihood of Scorpio Risings finding a long-term partner if you guys are not... Um, already connected but it also can can lead to marriage so jupiter in taurus in the seventh house scorpio rising chart you guys are your your relationship are going to change if you guys already are connected with someone and dating then your relationship might be going to the next level. You'll be taking your relationship to the next level or your partner might want to take your relationship to the next level, maybe uh, move in together if you haven't already uh, or you know, get engaged if you haven't already or have a child too. Although seventh house is not necessarily children, but Jupiter uh, can, Jupiter, yeah, Jupiter can, um, mean that as well so yeah your relationship will be taking a turn but when it comes to business um you will be also faced like faced with people who have this jupiterian like energy and i would say just try to be around these kinds of people because they can advance your career in the future too uh, for scorpio risings right uh, or you might get a certain information because jupiter is also like it's education right so information that is very valuable that can literally shift the way you've been handling your business money and even life and for sagittarius rising so sagittarius rising are likely to have their jupiter in taurus in the sixth house of their chart so the sixth house is is virgo's house right it's our work is the employed work that we do it's the job that we have it's not working for ourselves it's working for other people okay it's like $15 an hour jobs or call center jobs, stuff like that. I'm just kidding. But you get the point, right? It's it's not your job. It's, it's, it's not your business. It's other people's business. And you're working for their business. And you're advancing other people's businesses, right? Um, so the sixth house is also our bodily health, okay? It's also represent our... I, I mean, Taurus represents skin, okay? I, I, I don't know if you guys know this much about astrology, but Taurus is very sensitive, to touches okay i'm a taurus moon i know so um and i mean all earth signs represent bodily health like like your body okay how do you feel earth signs are very connected to how they feel in their body very much so okay so the sixth house is your health it's your bodily health it's your routine okay it's the um like daily things that you do that are keeping you um that are keeping your lifestyle let me put it this way so we all like wake up at certain time uh, drink coffee at certain time some people meditate some people don't some people um do yoga some people don't like i do all of these things obviously as a spiritual devotee right but you might not be doing these things however you might be inclined towards becoming spiritual at this time when it comes to your routine, you will change your routine and actually will be inspired to change it because the old routine will stop working. So you'll be forced to change your routine, okay? 
or you might be forced to change your routine because of some health issues too because sixth house is health issues so jupiter might force you to stop eating certain foods or stop engaging actually sixth house let me put it this way it's not only bodily health it can be your mental health too because remember it's a virgo's house in the axis right the axis between virgo and pisces connects you to the 12th house so the axis no matter if there is like 180 degrees apart um the virgo and pisces 180 degrees apart from each other it's easy for them to go back and forth and act from those houses and zodiac signs okay so as a sixth house taurus jupiter sagittarius rising you will probably experience some mental health problem or like some emotional issue whatever that will require you and inspire you to change your routine and that will be the best solution ever for this particular problem so you might want to engage in more spiritual work maybe you want to uh, include meditation yoga maybe you want to include journaling every morning or priming right i know if you know tony robbins priming technique where you wake up and then you prime yourself to feel certain emotions so that your day goes by the way you planned it to be okay so that you achieve your goals so you might want to look at those things and you might also get into holistic um medicine or you might be changing your job too you might be changing your job to a better employment or if you've been looking for a job that pays higher than you know this year you're gonna definitely you know have an opportunity to change that uh right but what i would say for the sixth house it all comes down to your routine right so routine determines the success if you can't handle your everyday life which is if you don't have a routine, then how are you going to handle bigger things, right? So that's why your focus for this year is your routine and your health, okay? If you advance in these areas, then other areas um, are going to prosper, okay? Let me put it this way. And then also it connects you to the first house. So the way you live your life the way you talk the way you think the way you act should change as well okay in tandem with the routine and for capricorn rising so capricorn rising are likely to have jupiter and taurus in the fifth house of their chart which is a leo's house it's so fifth house is all about our creativity um our passion right the hobbies that we are passionate about the talents and skills that are setting our soul on fire right like when we feel the most alive when we do our hobby we feel the most alive so that's the fifth house it's also the performance it's also romantic relationships however fifth house relationships are not the seventh house relationships Say, uh, fifth house relationship are just romantic connections that are short-lived not long-term necessarily like it's very like free energy in the fifth house it's not the commitment necessarily it's not the engagement marriage no it's just like oh i just want to have fun you know i just want to have fun and that's it right so it's leo <laughs> so fifth house is also children okay so you guys might be having a child uh capricorn risings or you might hear someone from your family might be getting pregnant or someone from your close friends or relatives getting pregnant and um you know expanding their family or you might want to get to expand your family in some way you know be inspired to change your dating approach maybe um maybe you've been um dating the wrong people um because you were not driven by marriage but now you would want to get married and that will require you to change your dating approach maybe to stop dating certain people who are like notice certain notice certain red flags so that you avoid the disaster right or you might be very very um magnetic and um very vibrant very generous at this time and although capricorn risings you can't really tell if they're happy or not because they always like they look 
serious right <laughs> capricorn rising but at this time you might be one you might want to be very playful and uh go out and date um uh, also not expecting much from others like it's easier for you guys right now to even like when you date you wouldn't expect much from that relationship which actually works in the opposite way when you don't expect that's when you, you usually get it right because you don't put importance and extra energy on that right and that's why it works it manifests so you might want to um you know be playful go out attracting a lot of uh suitors right and because you're very magnetic and very attractive at this time capricorn rising also you might want to um you you might get inspired to start a certain hobby to start a new hobby or to add a new skill that will actually be very good for you because it will uh advance your creativity okay it will make your creativity it will because not all of us do creative work which is very important because creative work we all do, all we do is practical things right so like practical things okay i understand like i'm very practical don't get me wrong but like there must be a certain amount of creativity within my life so that i am happy and content on all levels so you might be inspired to get into creativity in some way. Maybe you'll learn a new skill that requires your creativity or you'll start a YouTube channel or you start a TikTok account and you'll start posting. You'll start to become like a content creator, right? Inspired to do Leo type of things, you know, and be a performer maybe at this time too. And for Aquarius rising. So Aquarius rising is likely to have their Jupiter in Taurus in the fourth house of their chart. So if you guys have um, Jupiter in the fourth house, then that might mean that your uh, family, home and family is changing. It might be um, you are, your family is expanding. Maybe there's like more or new members in the family. Maybe someone got pregnant and had a baby and now you it's more of you in the home and family right or you might be the one who want to start a family at this time or you might be also focused on changing your interior design in your home as well that's also possible you might also be inclined to change your location you'll move or i don't know like 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 moving energy is possible but not 100% um gonna play out in every aquarius rising life right but what i would say that you guys aquarius rising will be inclined to spending time in their house and also uh enhancing the interior design so that they feel the most comfortable right so so expanding enhancing their comfort zone of their home okay so that's very possible um also the fourth house relates to uh just like real estate you might get into real estate at this time like houses right like selling buying selling houses or just you know learning about real estate and wanting to join uh that business um so that's possible too uh or you might want to start a family like i said right but for the home and so jupiter is a very good one you know it's not pluto in the fourth house and for Pisces rising, so Pisces rising are likely to have their Jupiter in Taurus in the third house of their chart, which is a Gemini's house, right? So third house relates to communication on a very mundane level. Is the communication like you have on a daily basis? Like when you go out, you see your neighbor, you say, hi, how are you, right? You go to the store, grocery store, you an employee that you see like almost every day, right? Um, it's like, hey, how's it going? So that kind of communication, it's not like deep, deep. It's very surface level. And then it's also the automobiles, um, cars, right? Um, it's also travels because remember, Gemini relates to travels as well as Sagittarius, which is the ninth house. But the ninth house is the abroad travels, right? The third house is the... Um, going to the nearest town like 30 minutes away that kind of you know traveling when it comes to gemini so you guys might be inclined it's also siblings okay so you guys might be inclined towards like traveling like 
riding your car a lot, maybe like going to nearest cities or towns and visiting your maybe siblings live somewhere close to like I live in Chico and I have like five or six towns close to me like that are like 30 to 40 minutes away right and I have friends there too so like you might be traveling to see your friends or your siblings or friends that became your family in some way you know um you will also want to expand your relationship within your existing friendships or maybe it will be become more solidified you know like you guys will be like besties or i don't know you'll become besties with your sibling or something um or you might also get introduced to someone very influential through your siblings so keep your eyes you know open and because you might get an opportunity uh, to expand your financial resources through network that will be presented to you through your siblings, okay? So that's very possible too. But just like the Pisces is usually not very communicative, I would say, right? Like at first you see Pisces, they're kind of withdrawn. They're, they're not, especially rising, right? I mean, sun too, but rising more so. Um, it's like they're kind of withdrawn. They're risen towards you might be talkative, more talkative than usual, you know, because usually Pisces rising are not that talkative and they, they, they just like withdraw, you know, they dream a lot. We know they're ruled by Neptune. We know. But at this time, like during Jupiter transit, you might be like very talkative, want to be a part of like so society in some way, like your community uh, or to start a new community maybe um start a youtube channel and grow a community there or start a blog post and grow a community there or maybe even as simple as instagram community maybe like you'll get like more closer and then you'll you'll start resonating with your community more you know which is actually a blessing for you at this time because i know pisces likes to withdraw and being a part of of a community also opens up opens you up to other people's problems and by seeing other people's problems you will be able to solve your emotional issues yourself you know easier so that's a really really good energy or you might get introduced to someone special specific person through your friendships and community so that's also possible it's a very good energy right so try to engage with your community contribute in some way you know because there's a lot of blessings in the third house of your chart this year so um i've covered pretty much everything it's a very long video please you guys let me know what you think in, in the comment section down below uh if this resonates with you and if it does i would love to hear that if it doesn't i would love to hear your interpretations also i wanted to let you know guys that i'm launching my astrology newsletter um, if you want to get astrological updates on a weekly basis, just go ahead and click the link down below. You can just provide the email and hit subscribe and you'll be able to gain more astrological updates on a weekly basis. Isn't that cool? It's absolutely free. So you'll be able to maybe schedule your weeks, you know, in advance and dates even. <laughs> if you haven't checked my TikTok, which is very, very popular by now then go ahead and check it out too uh there i post some funny memes about zodiac signs as well as provide astrological updates in a short form video such as like one to three minute long let's say like pluto went back in capricorn like you're likely to see me speak about those things on tiktok so yeah thank you all very much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye y'all